The recent capture of the Afghan Taliban's second-in-command seemed to signal a turning point in Pakistan, an indication that its intelligence agency had gone from helping to cracking down on the militant Islamic fundamentalist group. But U.S. officials now believe that even as Pakistan security forces worked with their American counterparts to detain Mullah Abdul Ghani Baradar and other insurgents, the country's Inner Services Intelligence Directorate, or ISI, quietly freed at least two senior Afghan Taliban figures it had captured on its own. U.S. military and intelligence officials say the releases, detected by American spy agencies but not publicly disclosed, are evidence that parts of Pakistan's security establishment continue to support the Afghan Taliban. This assistance underscores how complicated the CIA-ISI relationship remains at a time when the United States and Pakistan are battling insurgencies that straddle the Afghanistan border and are increasingly anxious about how the war in that country will end. The officials spoke on the condition of anonymity and declined to identify the Taliban figures who were released, citing the secrecy surrounding U.S. monitoring of the ISI. But officials say the free captives were high-ranking Taliban members and would have been recognizable as insurgents the United States would want in custody. U.S. officials think that Pakistan continues to pursue a hedging strategy in seeking to maintain relationships with an array of entities, including the United States and Afghan governments, as well as insurgent networks, struggling to shape the outcome in Afghanistan, even as it aggressively battles the Pakistani branch of the Taliban.